Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you, which is a continuation of our uh, series of videos on using sketch blocks in SolidWorks in order to drive our design. Uh, what we did in our last video is I showed you how to put in some simple already created blocks for uh, some windows and use those uh, blocks in order to cut the, the holes out for these windows. Well, let's do this. Let's create some brand new blocks in this video and show you how it works in the very beginning. So we, we're going to start with something very simple like uh, with a rectangle, a very simple rectangular uh, the window that we did in the previous one, we're going to create something very similar and show you how that goes together. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our Sketch 40. Let's go ahead and edit that, and we're going to take out our two blocks. And this time, we're going to uh, we're going to create uh, two new blocks. So those are out. It uh, shows you the background of where those are going to be. But let's uh, say we're going to put in some uh, blocks for create some blocks for some window cuts for maybe uh, maybe uh, a restroom or something like that, where the window is going to be a little bit smaller. The way you would do that, very simply, if you know what the, the constraints of the blocks are going to be, if you know what the dimensions of the blocks are going to be, you don't have to use any other geometry in there. In fact, it's always advisable to try to avoid uh, other geometry that might be out there because it will uh, create constraints with not only within the block, within uh, the geometry that's already existing. And that's where sometimes you really can get tripped up with uh, a lot of sketch um, uh, blocks within your uh, sketch format. But let's do this. We don't have any other constraints. We're going to do this out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to put in some uh, dimensions on this. And then we're going to create a block out of that. So let's make uh, maybe the, maybe make that uh, 24 inches by 12 inches. Something very simple here. Okay, once you have that done, you want to go up here to your uh, block toolbar. Go to the Make Block uh, button. Uh, let's click all of our block entities. And this will also pick up uh, the dimensions. Go to green check mark, and bang, now we have our block. If we want to rebuild, now it's going to take that block element and put in that window. So let's go back to our sketch and take a look at that and take a look at the block we just uh, used and just created. If we go to block 10 and double click on it, it gives us those dimensions within that block, everything that we created. Let's go ahead and rebuild that again. And another way of doing it is we can go back to block 10 and go to edit block. You know, jump us right back into the sketch for it, jump us into the block, and give us the ability to make those updates and edits. So, one more thing you might want to do, block 10-1, which means it's the 10th block I've created, the dash 1, the dash 1 is the instance of that block. What you might want to do when you're doing this, you'll see this up here in this, uh, in these, in this sketch up here, for the New York Central lettering on the left side of the car, uh, that I actually have these uh, labeled as such. And if we go back up here to the windows that I put in for the window cuts, you can see that these windows up here, the 24 inch wide windows, are actually part of that there too, or part of that uh, sketch which is part of the, the window cuts, the, the cut feature that we have there in, uh, in our feature manager tree. We probably want to rename this. So remember it was a 24 inch wide window, 12 inches tall, so why don't we call that something very similar. Similar, so we'll call that window 24x12. Okay, just for the sake of demonstration, let's go back into Sketch 40. Let's go ahead and insert another block, the very same block we put in before. And whoop, that's the wrong one. Let's go ahead and uh, insert a block, and it gives us a list of all the blocks we've created so far. This one probably needs to be renamed since it's a 28 inch wide uh, block. 28 inch wide window cut. But this one we just created, which is a uh, window 24 by 12, let's go ahead and uh, use that. And bring that over here. Try to align it with the bottom. Now it's not going to create a constraint with the bottom there, but we can now, since it is aligned on the bottom in a way, but it is a constraint on the bottom, we can put in some additional dimensions in here. Maybe make these uh, collinear with each other. And let's put a dimension from here to there in order to give it a certain distance off uh, off that ledge. In order to make this uh, fully defined, let's go ahead and put a, a dimension in here too. We'll make that 16 inches. Go ahead and rebuild. You notice our sketch 40 is now fully defined. We have two uh, sketch elements, or two blocks within that uh, sketch. Our window 24-12 times 12. Our first instance of that and our second instance of that. All within our cut extrude 17, which I probably should name window 2 and then we'll go from there. 
So in the next video, in the series of videos after that, I'll show you how to create some additional uh, blocks, blocks that get a little bit more complicated, and some of the pitfalls associated with, uh, with that complexity. And the biggest pitfall that you're going to run into is when you're defining these blocks, and you're defining blocks within the constraints that are already there within the sketch, and maybe the model itself, it's going to be difficult to fully define those blocks. It'll make your sketch uh, crash, you'll get it overdefined. And sometimes I actually make a SOLIDWORKS crash on you, which is done for me a couple times. So I'm going to show you some of these pitfalls and how to avoid those.